A wise man once said, some things cannot be taught, they must be experienced. You can never learn the most valuable lessons in life until you go through your own journey. Downlands College, a school we all know and love, encapsulates this advice when looking at the development of its students. Based on the ethos of the missionaries of the Sacred Heart, Downlands focuses on making its students people of the heart. At the foundation of this is, in my experience, is encouraging its students to go through their own individual journeys and learn some of the most valuable lessons in their life. This can be seen throughout the college, from the performance stage and the sporting field to the classroom. Downlands College is not only a school, it is a true educational establishment. It not only teaches its students to think and become lifelong learners, but also the lessons needed to become a valuable member of society, a Downlander. The students have the opportunity to be involved in many different activities, including debating and public speaking, choirs and ensembles, various sporting teams and the cattle show team. Each of these activities teach students valuable life lessons outside of the classroom in a nurturing and friendly environment. Here at Downlands, I've been honoured to be involved in many different cultural activities. However, there is one ensemble that I would particularly like to discuss. This is the Downlands Male Choir, or the Footesmen. I joined the Male Choir in the second half of last year and have loved every minute of it. The relaxed atmosphere of the rehearsals allow for the more social performers to have fun, whilst giving the opportunity for the more able vocalists to further develop their skills and take part in more serious performances. To me, the Fortesman is a lesson in breaking stigma. It goes along the lines of, a real man doesn't sing. But this group, which is made up of all sorts of young men, shows that this belief is a complete falsehood and that performing is something that they can do at any time throughout their lives. Another area of the college in which I have experienced some of the most valuable life lessons is on the sporting field. Downlands prides itself on offering all sorts of sports to suit any student's needs and I have enjoyed playing both cricket and rugby throughout my time here. This is when I came to realise the remarkable sporting culture that the school has. One strong part of this culture is competition, both with opposition teams and amongst students. Aside from competition on the field against our opponents, there is also competition for spots within teams. Competition is integral to a young person's life. It allows a person to have confidence in themselves, to stand up and make themselves counted. And in today's increasingly competitive job market, the assurance that you do have the ability to compete will go a long way. The other aspect of the Downlands sporting culture that I believe is what makes this school different is the teamwork on display. Downlands sporting teams, particularly the ones I have been involved with, teach students how to work together in addition to educating the young people of Downlands how to have faith in others. Downlands provides a myriad of chances for students to experience valuable life lessons in both co-curricular activities and in the classroom. When I say in the classroom, bear in mind I'm not talking about the different academics of the national curriculum. Although these lessons do play a major role in a child's life, Downlands College has a diverse range of exemplary students on staff who, in my opinion, excel in creating an unrivaled teaching atmosphere, and that is something that all students can learn from. At some point of our lives, we all become teachers. This can be through teaching our own children or children from another family, either academically or in valuable life lessons. These things are best taught in an environment conducive to learning. Students of Downlands College, whether consciously or unconsciously, will model the teaching environments on those that they were provided with during their formative years and I can think of no better example than that set by the teachers of Downlands College. A Downlander is more than just a successful student. We each strive to become valuable citizens of society. We each have been on our own journeys with the support of others, to learn from experiences which teach lessons, so that one day we may be of true value to the community. And in the words of Albert Einstein, one of the most successful academics of all time, aim not to become a man of success, but rather aim to become a man of value.